NHL 24 is out and it is time to learn how to score in the game. You're going to get scored on by all these moves probably 5,000 times if you're playing Hockey Mode's Ultimate Team ESHL. There's no avoiding them. So let's go and learn how to do them ourselves so we can keep up with the glitch. In every single NHL I've played, there's always been one glitch goal. No matter what, it always works. And it's going to be if you're left-handed, you're going to come out from this right side. You're going to hold the puck on your forehand, drag it across, and shoot top shelf. So to slow that down a little bit, if you're coming, if again, if you're left-handed, you're going to hold it on your forehand while skating forward. When you get around here to that line, you're going to pull out forward. And by that, I mean just drive to the net. So on your forehand, drive to the net, and then shoot top left. You have to do it with a little bit of speed or it will not work. You can also do this on your backhand. It's not as efficient, but you come out on your backhand, hold it, and then shoot top shelf. Obviously, it doesn't work every single time, but for the most part, it is pretty effective. And one interesting thing I just learned is if you press A or X on Xbox now, it just stops and gives you a reverse hit rather than doing the one hand on the stick. But we're going to show you another time. So again, keeping it on the forehand, then you're going to cut in front of the goalie and shoot far side. If you play ESHL, you're going to recognize this one from several years ago. You're going to keep it on your backhand, cut to the middle, go back to your backhand, and when the goalie's sliding over, you're going to get it every single time. To show you this move one more time, I'm going to come in on my backhand, cut to the middle, and then I would shoot the backhand there. So with the right stick, you're going right, left, right. So you got to get the goalie moving. So again, you're coming in right, left, right and the goalie will move out of the way just like that. So again, right, left, right, and then you shoot it into the empty cage. I would recommend with your left stick to make sure you're shooting at the, the area open. So obviously if it's open top left, which most of the time it will be, uh, you can do it that way. The same goes for if you're right-handed. So if you're a right-handed player in NHL or ESHL, you're gonna start by going left, right, left, okay? And then you're gonna be able to do the backhand move. The move also will work on the forehand for for left-handed skaters. So if you're coming in on the left, you can go left, right, left, top shelf, uh, and you'll be able to get that goal in every time. So again, it'll be left, right, left, in. So a lot of the moves are just going to be a simple left, right, left with your analog stick. So your analog stick right here, side, 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 just practice doing this. Practice doing that, you're going to get a bunch of them. Look at the goal. He's already moving. I'm not even moving my stick. So again, we'll show you left, right. See how the goalie kind of moves out of the way. Most of the time, we'll try po-checking it. So if I were to just go boom, boom, see how it's a wide open net. And I don't know what he's doing right there, but <laughs> what, a tr what a save attempt from the Sens goaltender. Those are by far going to be the three easiest ways to score in NHL. So to recap this one, we're coming out of the corner, keeping on our forehand with speed. The goalie's going to try poke checking, and you go right around him. You can also do it on the backhand side. It's not as effective, but it still does work. So one more time, we're going to come out from behind the ring at night line, hold it on my backhand. He's going to go for the poke check, and then you'll have the whole top shelf and the net open. The second move was holding it on our backhand cutting to the middle then going back to our backhand and scoring in the wide open net you can do that several different ways but mostly we'll slow it down if you're left-handed you're going to hold it on your backhand in between these lines you're going to bring it back to your forehand and then back to your backhand and to make that move you're going to go right left right if you're left-handed if you're the other hand left right left also the move will work on your forehand so we're going to go forehand backhand forehand and it's going to work every time one thing to note that a lot of people won't say or do is when you're doing this move make sure to move your character if i just come into the goalie straight without moving my left stick and i just go right left right it's never going to go in you have to move your player so what i mean by that is you see right now i'm holding the puck i'm skating to my right now i'm skating to my left right left it helps move the goalie out of the way so you see how the goalie moved all the way out of the way that's because with my player i'm actually moving my character so i'm not just going like this i'm going this way now i'm going this way you know we're, we're moving around the characters the goalie has to respect our move and as you can see we're going to get the goal every single time another move that is very popular is if you hold it like this and then go to backhand every single time it's always going to work so to show you that in real speed that's how it looks. In slower speed, let me slow it down for you. With your right analog stick, you're gonna wanna come in on an angle. With your right, push it all the way to the side and bottom so you're holding the stick like this, right? Your, your right analog stick is basically at eight o'clock. We could call it if you're in the clock. And then just as you're about to come in and shoot, you're just gonna go to your backhand. You see that motion there? To my backhand. To my backhand. 
So if you if you slide if you do kind of a semicircle, it'll do a toe drag. We don't want the toe drag. We just want that particular motion there. So I'll show you again. We're gonna go in. We're keeping it on our forehand, and then we're going to our backhand every time. Top shelf, it's gonna go in as well. This move also works very often. It's the Datsuk flip. So again, just like that, it's been around for a couple of years now. To do that, you're gonna press down on R3. So that's gonna be your right analog stick. Click down on that. We'll move forward, down on that, and down. So right click, down. Right click, down, and now you're in the Datsuk move. From that area, you can shoot or you can deke um, every time I kind of do the flick. So again, right stick and down, and now we're going to press R1 to flick. And you can aim with your left analog stick, and that's how you're going to do that move. So again, it's going to be right stick down, right stick down. Now we're in the Datsuk move. You can flick it up to shoot. Or if you press R1 or RB on Xbox, you're going to be able to, to actually flick the puck. So I'll show you again how this looks. We're going to come in on the side, R3, flick, and every single time goes in the goalie does not react. So for this particular move, we're trying to move the goalie out of the way. It is tough to beat that glove, so we want to drive it across and shoot far side as quick as we can. So again, what we're going to do, I'm going to slow it down. We're coming in. As soon as we get to the top circle, we're going left now, and we're going to shoot top glove. You have to do it with speed or he's going to make the save like that. But this does not work every time, but it's going to give you your best chance to score right away. So a lot of the moves that you're going to score in this game are very, very similar. You're going to be in tight. You're going to kind of use that skill stick. So again, get really good at using your right stick and your left stick in tandem. So what I mean by that, again, is when you're on backhand, use that left and right stick to move your angle. Don't just stand still and do this. That's just not going to work. You got to you got to use that left stick to kind of move at the goalie out of the way. And then once you move him out of the way, you're always going to have a wide open. The goalie's always going to try to poach check you. Again, if I just go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, shoot. Oh, goalie made the save. You know, there's there's nothing you're doing to help yourself here. But if I'm like, oh, okay, let me move around. Again, goalie's poach checking every single time. So the first thing I would say to you is just practice with your little skill stick there. So again, move it, a little cut around. Again, goalie cannot keep up with you when you're moving that left stick left, right, left, right. So it's not about doing the exact move. It's just about getting comfortable moving your, your player stick every single time. One thing I would recommend if you're playing ESHL, this is going to be the easiest way for you to score when you have teammates. If you're coming down left side, wind up clapper, low pad, hit your teammate to go right there. It's going to go in every time. So let me show you again. Say you're coming in. It doesn't have to be slap shot. It can be a wrist shot. We're aiming low pad, low pad. Your player's going to be right there to put in the rebound. So remember that if you're playing ESHL, that's going to be the easiest way if you're not comfortable with all these skills. So again, I'm skating down the wing. I'm going to shoot low pad now. My player's cutting to the net right here. When he's cutting in, the rebound comes off. You one-time it. Kind of move around with the goalie here. And you'll see how many opportunities I have to score here. I can score right there. I can score right there. I can score right now. You know, I don't know what the goalie's doing. Should I just... <laughs> I'll show you again. I'm coming in. ESHL. Got my buddy. Go crash net, crash net, crash net. Shoot. Boom. See how the goalie can't even get there? It's impossible. And again, we'll come off, off of the backhand there and wide open net. So those are going to be the easiest ways to score in NHL 24. I know they're annoying. It's just, you're never going to escape the glitches. Maybe one year, maybe, maybe just one year, it'll be out of the game. But as of right now, I don't see it. I don't know why the goalie just stays like that also <laughs> when you go around him. But those are the moves. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know uh, what your favorite move to do is. I think the most easy one is just kind of going backhand, forehand, moving your left analog stick. Obviously, you're always going to have the one where you're coming down the wing really fast here. You cut in front, goal. If you were open, if uh, if I shot that, and then again, just kind of standing in front of that, but -do 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 -do, empty net. And then this one is personally one of my favorites because it's just such a good hockey play off the pad. Let your teammate go get the rebound. But have a wonderful day. Get the Datsuk goal going. Get all of them going. See if we can get a Tim Stutzel between the legs to end the video. Probably not, though. Oh, I had a wide open net. Here, just put that in. Okay, I can't score. All right, I'll see you later maybe give him one more chance at this ah, i can't get it all right take care